Lauren, will you marry me? I'm sorry, but <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the Valentine's Day update event coming soon, and we're gonna be talking about the details today and the best way to capitalize on said event, like asking your girlfriend to marry you on okay, Valentine's. Okay, fine. W. <laughs> So, the Valentine's Day event. What's going on for it? And also, currently, the, th this event. There's no spawns here, what's happening? Said 15 gifts, we need to complete this. We have three days. And speaking of this event and the Valentine's Day event, this event is actually really, really important to capitalize on in preparation for the Valentine's Day event. There's certain strategy that we're gonna talk about in a second. But for starters, the Valentine's Day event is happening February 10th at 10 o'clock a.m. to Monday, February 14th at 8 o'clock p.m. What is this? Uh. And, there's gonna be brand new Pokemon. We got the Flabebe, Floweth, and Florgress finally coming to Pokemon Go. This is the, they, this, they, they are in the trailer? No, the loading screen, right? We saw them in the, in the loading screen recently, so we kind of knew that these new Pokemon were going to eventually drop, and here they are for Valentine's Day. Also remember that there's different colors of these, different forms technically. There is yellow, red, orange, blue, and white. And to evolve Flabebe into Floette, you need 25 candies, and then 100 candies into Flabebe after you've earned 20 hearts with it as your buddy. So there is a little bit more to evolving this Pokemon than just simply acquiring enough candies. Oh, I have a team, we have Cliff. Let's clap Cliff up, shall we? There also are pretty good event bonuses for this event that are definitely worth taking advantage of, including two times lure module duration, which is great if you plan on going out and grinding the event, just an hour long lure mods are always solid. Also buddy Pokemon bring items a little bit more often because they love us. And two times catch candy, and we'll talk about some Pokemon you're gonna wanna prioritize for that specifically. Not to mention a new form change coming to the game. This is like a technically a new Pokemon. So as we know, Furfro was the first Pokemon to introduce the form change feature into the game because it has multiple forms that you can change between rather than catching the multiple forms. So there's a brand new form coming to Pokemon Go for this event. For 25 candy and 10,000 Stardust, you can change it to the, oh, the heart trim Furfro, just in time for Valentine's Day. So I guess, I, I guess it's exciting, you know? We'll take a new Furfro form, right? That's fine. And there's a lot more happening during this event and some things that I personally is, am excited about. And again, some serious strategy you're gonna wanna consider going into this event because it is honestly pretty big. If I get, wow, imagine I lose this. Who's left, Mewtwo? Oh, we're good. Quick little Shadow Shiny check. Please! God, I have not gotten a Shadow Shiny yet during this update of that. We'll keep going for him though. Maybe I buy some more Rocket Radar as we grind today. Okay, our Sunday fun day adventure continues. What? Okay, we got the ice cream, but what about the eggs? Nine, 10 kilometers? I've actually just been weirdly five kilometer, uh, or, or free incubating like one egg at a time, and just randomly collecting 10 kilometer eggs, L literally for no reason. Not cause I not cause I wanted a challenge or I wanted to see what's inside of them, for no reason other than the fact that like I just wasn't really hatching eggs cause I didn't really care. So 10, sorry, nine, 10 kilometers? Like, oh, this could be cool. Oh my God. <laughs> This could be cool is an understatement. Dude, no shot. I'm so mad. Imagine we get another shiny. I am so happy. That is absurd. We have more? What, what could, what? okay, so it, it, worth it. That was, a, that, was, that was worth it. That was a worthwhile investment to just not hatch eggs for like, I literally, I've been doing this for like a month. Just like not hatching eggs except for just with my like free incubator. Maybe not a month, but like close to it. Dude, oh my God, shiny Riolu. That is so great. Oh my god, what a freaking clip. Check it out. Well, this is our second. I, I have one shiny Riolu that's already best buddies uh, and level 40. But like, dude, we got a second. Oh my god. I can't believe I just hatched that. That is so sick. Freaking W. W on the day. We've got more news and things and events to talk about, but W on the day. Oh my god. <laughs> So we're gonna go ride horses real quick. Um, I'll film some of it, and then we'll be right back with more update information and regular scheduled programming. <laughs>
What an adventure today. <laughs> really random fun adventure. Okay, let's talk this the rest of the event over for the Valentine's Day update. There will be collection challenges for the Valentine's Day themed event with uh, female frillish and male frillish. Unfortunately, no shiny frillish, which I think is a super big missed opportunity. Um, no new shiny during this event, kind of sucks, but but we have new Pokemon, which is great. There will be special attacks that you can get during this period. You can evolve Curlia during the event to Gallade or Gardevoir that will know the charge attack Synchronoise. Gallade and Gardevoir encountered uh, after raids will also know Synchronoise as well. In the wild, and actually we've got brand new regional Pokemon during this event. The Red Flower Flabebe, the Blue Flower Flabebe, and the Yellow Flower Flabebe will be spawning at different times, uh, different sides of the world. Red Flower will be in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Blue Flower will be in the Asia Pacific reason region and the yellow flower will be in the Americas in the wild we're gonna be seeing Chansey Plusle and Minen, Volbeat and Illumise, Love Disc, Woobat, and then Red, Blue, and Yellow Flower, Flabe, 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 and then the natural form Furfro. And if you're super lucky, you might find yourself a Miltank, Audino, Olamamala, White Flower, Flabe, Flabe, or Orange Flower, Flabe, Flabe. Most of these spawns aren't really meta relevant for really anything, but I will say Shiny Volbeat and Illumise are very rare shinies, uh, as is Love Disc, and I will definitely be hunting for those. One star raids will include Miltank, Rosalia, Audino, and natural form Furfro. Three Three star raids will have Nido Queen and King, Lickitung, Gardevoir, and Gallade. Five star raids will be Registeel, and Mega raids will be Mega Houndoom. We've also got field research tasks. These look pretty good. Pikachu, Eevee, Love Disk, Routes, and if you're lucky, Frillish, male and female, Ulmamala, and the Spinda with the heart on its head. So getting that heart shiny Spinda is very, very cool. But that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing here is the Global Catch Challenge. The Global Catch Challenge goal is for everyone to send 70 million gifts and you're gonna wanna do it, and you're gonna wanna participate, and you're gonna wanna help out because the reward is three times transfer candy. Now wait, although I know that doesn't seem like super crazy, wildly epic, it's really, really helpful. There are several Pokemon spawning uh, and in raids during the Valentine's Day event and during the event right now that's happening until the Valentine's Day event that you're gonna wanna maximize and possibly just keep in your inventory if you can until we get three times transfer candy and then you're gonna wanna mass transfer them all. And those Pokemon and spawns are. For the current event right now, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Gyarados, and then in the raids, Charizard and Flareon, and then Regirock. If you can, save all of those and wait for the three times transfer candy. All of those Pokemon are very meta relevant and helpful. It's great to have candy for them. Magikarp is a 400 candy evolution. And if you don't have a lot of Magikarp spawns by you, saving them now and transferring them during three times transfer candy is gonna be super helpful. And then during the Valentine's Day event, Pokemon that you're gonna wanna hold on to, maybe Chansey, just because like Blissey is annoying, I guess. It's not really, you don't really have to. Uh, in the raids, Rosalia, Gardevoir, Gallade, and Registeel are definitely Pokemon that if you do choose to raid, do not transfer them until that three times transfer candy so that you can maximize the amount of candy you get from dumping those Pokemon, especially since you spent money on them. In the field research during the Valentine's Day event, it's gonna be Eevee and Routes that you're gonna wanna hold on to, wait, and then transfer out a little bit later to stack up on those candies. And that's what's up, and that's what's going down during the Valentine's Day update event. Again, remember to save the meta-relevant Pokemon so that you can transfer them during that event. And just some other quick tips for the Valentine's Day event to maximize your play. Remember that Audino gives you significantly more Stardust for catching, so if you find one, it's good to catch it. Spinda with the heart on its head only comes around once a year for Valentine's Day, so it's important to find that field research task, complete it, and see if you can get yourself that exclusive once a year shiny. And the brand new Pokemon Florgress will be maxing out at 3,657 CP. It is a fairy type, and it's a pretty tanky fairy type at that, with attack at 212, defense at 244, fairly tanky, and stamina at 186. But when it comes to its rankings amongst other fairy types, it's not super duper high, so it's not massively meta relevant, but it's a cool Pokemon. And that's all the information that I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Also, as always, I'm doing some really cool things over on the Mystic 7 Plays and Mystic 7 Crypto channel, including the brand new Discord. Check that out if you're interested. See you in the next video. Peace out.